Hey everyone, this is Narin and welcome back to a new session of English with me. Today, we are on the episode 4, part 2 of our series From Zero to Hero. So, today we are going to talk about the continuation of common mistakes people make while learning English. This is the part 2 and today we are going to deal with very scary stuff. You know why it's scary because you might not know that you are making those mistakes and it's actually slowing you down. You couldn't find much progress in your English learning because these mistakes are slowing you down. So let's jump right into it. Mistake number five, avoiding native speakers. All right, show of hands. How many of you get nervous when you see a native speaker walking towards you. Be honest. You think, oh no, what if he start talking to me? What if he ask me any question? What if I can't understand them? So what do you do? You just avoid them. Start small but start now. That's a mistake you are doing. You should talk to native speakers. Don't shy away. Start with simple interactions like go to a coffee shop and order a coffee in English or ask for directions in English or just say hi in English. Trust me, these little moments adds up and builds your confidence. And remember, most people are patient and will appreciate the effort you are making. So next time you see a native speaker, don't run away, just go and talk to them. The sixth mistake, trying to learn too much at once. Imagine trying to eat an entire pizza in one bite. You won't do that, right? Then why do you do this with English? A lot of learners think that they need to cram up as much as possible in a study time. They try to fill up as much as possible until it overflows. They will learn 50 new words in a single day, binge watch 5 English videos, mastering 3 grammar tenses in one week. You know, they will try to learn as much as possible in a single day. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work. I'll give you an example. Imagine you are learning 50 new words today and you learned everything, you are set with everything, you have a list of vocabulary, you learned everything and then when it comes to speaking you won't even remember any of these words you know there is a word that you can replace instead of some words in english you have learned it but you cannot remember it you cannot use it you know yeah that word is there in this page in this line but you cannot remember it because you are learning all at once you are not giving your brain to practice it or use it properly so what you should do is you should learn in little chunks like learn little by little take five words today learn those words use it in sentences use it when you are speaking use it when you are writing practice those five words thoroughly and then move on to the next five words the next day it is better than to memorize almost 50 words a single day think of it as slow cooking your english not a microwave quick fix the next mistake is focusing only on grammar. I get it, grammar is important. But here's the thing, focusing only on grammar is like learning swimming by reading a book. At some point, you have to got to jump to the pool and that's what many learners miss. They does not speak and practice English properly. They just focus on grammar. Every rule, every uh, exercise, every question of grammar will be thorough. They spend too much time trying to get every grammar rule right. They actually forget to speak and practice English. They just follow the grammar rules. When we ask them a question related to grammar, they can answer it then and there very easily. But when it comes to speaking, they are not good enough. The next time you catch yourself obsessing over grammar, just think, does this stop me from being understood by the other person? If your answer is no, then move on. 
get comfortable with the idea that your English doesn't need to be perfect. It just need to be understood. So speak a lot. With time, you can speak perfect English. The next one is not setting realistic goals. This is the last one, but this is a biggie. Not setting realistic goals. If your goal is just like, I want to be fluent in English, that's just like saying, I want to be a millionaire tomorrow. Actually, you need clear, achievable goals to make progress in English. Instead of just saying, I want to learn English easily or I want to be fluent in English, just set smaller goals like I will learn 10 new words today or I will learn uh, 3 new grammar rules this week, something like that. Make smaller goals, break it down, track your progress and reward yourself whenever you see success. Whenever you achieve a small milestone, just reward yourself. Just pat your shoulder and say, you did well. This journey to fluency is made of hundreds of tiny wins. So celebrate each one. And that's a wrap up for part two of this episode, Common Mistakes People Make While Learning English. Remember, Learning English is a journey. It's not a sprint. You cannot achieve it today, tomorrow or in one week. It needs time. And it's okay to make mistakes, feel frustrated and even take a break now and then. But you should be confident and you should come back and you should start practicing English. Be consistent. I always say consistency is the key to speak English fluently. So guys, this is all for today. I hope this video was useful. I'll make a video on listening in the next episode. I'll let you know what all you should listen to to speak English fluently. So stay tuned for that episode. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Bye.